So I just had an upcoming thing spoiled for me. Now, I'm not going to point at any individuals here, but upon receiving this news, I felt a very strong emotion. Now, whether or not this made me happy or sad or angry, I will not say. But if you really do want to know why I am so mad, then stick around. Alright, so every YouTuber with any credibility for good video game journalism is now focusing on this game. CoffeeZilla himself is probably going to be putting out a video on this company's shady practices at this point. So if you don't want to know what game I'm talking about, don't go into the YouTube comment sections. Stay well away from Twitter and basically anywhere people congregate. Just stay well away and don't go out until the game comes out. Now, which video game is it that's got me so mad? Well, I'll say this. It's been delayed until 2024. So if you really want to know... Now everybody's favourite developer Ubisoft, who's only known for quality gaming, has just announced that Skull and Bones is yet again going to need more time in development. Now you all know this game has been teased for several decades at this point. I remember playing Tomb Raider back on the N64 when this trailer first dropped. And to hear that it's got yet another delay, well to be honest, it's made me really mad. And that's the reason I'm in such a bad mood. Or is it? Okay, okay, okay. The real reason I'm so mad is that one of my favourite games of all time, a game that I've dedicated my whole channel to, has decided to take my game away. Yet, yeah, I'm not kidding you. To continue to play Ark 1, I'm going to have to buy it again. And this is after the co-founder, Jeremy Stieglitz, announced that the game was going to be a free update. On April Fools, I get stabbed in the heart. But get this, that's not the fucked up bit. <laughs> They admit in an official statement that due to pretty significant design changes from the original game, Ark 2 may not be appealing to everyone. Yet, yeah, we as consumers are going to be forced to buy it if we want to play a remastered version of Ark 1. Because until Ark 2 is out, they will not sell this package separately. But to add insult, all legacy Ark 1 updates and official servers are going to be switched off the day this reskin comes out. So if your PC isn't up to scratch with a bare minimum of an RTX card, then you are out of luck. And I've personally run unofficial servers for many years. Many of my friends and community members don't have the best rigs, and careful consideration in mod selection and settings has always had to be used to create a balanced experience. Constant updates and patches are needed to keep running the game this way. By deleting all official servers, Arc 1 is just going to be a solo experience. Now, I know many of you can't afford to buy this game again and all of its DLC, let alone update your PC right now. And if I'm being honest, my current GPU, which is a 3080, will still drop below 60 frames a second on maps like Aberration and Lost Island. So the most egregious thing here is not at least continuing to support the original game, or at a bare minimum halving some of the official servers, and perhaps allowing some of the less populated servers to have players migrate with some element or trophies and flags or something like that. But just to switch the servers off entirely the day this new reskin comes out, well, it's really not how I imagined the game ending. Even as I'm recording this video, Ark just released Extinction on Nintendo Switch. I know some of the most fun I've ever had in this game has always been when I've been with other players. <laughs> Gee, go for it, mate. Shout Achilles, out. yes, I love you. <laughs> go for it. Oh my God. Good. One for the team. <laughs> run, run, run. Run right off the cliff. Huh? Huh? Run off the cliff, he'll probably go to lava. Yeah. He can't, he can't oh, follow oh, you through oh, the... Oh, oh. He just pushed me to the glove <laughs> Oh, no. See, see if you can swim out. Swim out toward the gate down there. Okay. Yeah. You can make... Oh my god. Oh. 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 
I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> I am not leading the way. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Yo, when do I start to dive? You'll see. Don't worry. Hey, Sean, wow. I'm well faster. Where do I go? <laughs> 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 I don't know. I have no idea where to go from here. Down the portal. Oh, drop in See the... It's too late. Ah. Uh, you guys are going to have to carry on without me. You're my brother. <laughs> I got a, a spare drink. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, she struck oh, Romeo no. down. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Would you grapple to her and she pulled you down as well? Yeah. Oh, that was quite. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, it's not. You know, when a child gets booster in age, they can change their own name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, totally does feel violated now. Oh. Looking at his baby, saying it's inappropriate. Look at what you're wearing, Shiny. That's because he broke my... <laughs> Jesus, is that doing the same thing on your screen as it is on mine, mate? Because she's just ragdolled everywhere. Oh. She's just going everywhere. Like, is that doing the same thing to you? I lose my If Wildcard won't support his game, then why should I? Now I can handle paying for a genuine remaster of a game. That's one thing, but bundling it in a package you know I won't like is shady. So in my opinion, Wildcard need to have a serious rethink about how they treat their customer. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see ya.